Ooh, it's a fun little thematic opening. Uh, just gonna assume the graphics are just kind of working out. Get out of here, mouse. We're playing Hellfront Honeymoon. Co-op versus versus. Well, I'm alone, so let's do a mission. This is a top-down shooter strategy thing. We'll see the exact limitation in a minute here. So move is left stick, right, is, right stick is aim. Deploy is left trigger. Right trick is fire. Y is turret. X is barracks. That'll make more sense as we go, I'm sure. Waiting for players. It's just gonna be me. Ooh. Ooh. Use the analog sticks to move and aim. Use the fire button to shoot your way through this wall. Ooh. This art style reminds me of Brigador a little bit. My standing on top of the honey pot and pressing the turret button. Turrets will automatically engage any hostile unit within their range. Attack the enemy turret using the fire button. Ow! Give me a second. Need to heal before I die horribly. Holy crap. Oh! So I have no penalty for dying, but of course my building's gonna be overtaken as the threat. I have a barracks. Is it gonna spit out units? Let me see. Send your Marines to the target location using the deploy button. So now I know what deploy does. Okay. Good job. Okay, going. Now, use the deploy oh. button again to bring your Marines into combat. Destroy the remaining enemy turret to complete the mission. The Marines were not ready for that. Oh, I can outpace the turret. That's abusable. That was an explosion. Oh, this game has a nice aesthetic. This is, this is the vibe. I'm, I'm game for the audio and visual components of this. It feels like an old school uh, arcade game. Not, for, not old school, old school, like 80s. I mean, like, the, I, I mean, like, it looks like, uh, the kind of games that I would see in an arcade in like the 90s, where like, this would be like next to something that had like FMV things, that you FMV people to shoot or something like that. <laughs> What was that game where you shot FMV people? It was always like Time Crisis in that one game. Let's do a turret in the front and two barracks back here. So two barracks means I'll get... Uh, two squads per 10 seconds. Meanwhile, they have two turrets and one uh, barracks, so I have like the advantage here a little bit on output. Oh right, I have to tell them to go places. It's easy to forget. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Oh, I keep forgetting that like a nightmare army is just gonna come spewing out whenever that happens. Another barracks, maybe? Can I remove existing barracks in this game? I mean existing, let's see. I don't think I can. I think, I think I'm stuck with this turret unless somebody attacks it. So this game has one to four player multiplayer, both for co-op and competitive uh, play, which makes a lot of sense to me. Because if it's one screen, you could actually fit it all in one place. It might get pretty intense. Flawless victory. Three, two, one, fight. Secure areas are ideal for building barracks. <laughs> Somehow that. Oh. Um. Oh, did I get killed by my own building? Is that what just happened? I think my own building just landed on top of me. I think that's how I died. Something about specifically the 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 overhyped cartoonish voice that comes into intro. What's happening? Like something about that specifically is so cartoonish that I can't help but think of it as being like 
It sounds like a fake cartoon voice they would use for like a, a, a video game that only exists in a movie. All right, well, they're super doomed now. It is, it is a tutorial though. That logo crossed with that that guitar sting. That's fun. All right, so now we're in, now it's time for real missions. We're at, it's time for honeymoon mission one. That's a lot of things they've given me. Wow. The missions give you star rankings based on how fast you beat them. This one, one minute. Damn. There we go. Let's get you guys going. Get up in there, guys. I believe in you. Oh. Oh no, did I not ex did I not establish the last one? Oh, that's a lot of bad. That's a lot of bad. That's a lot of bad. If you're, uh, I can't deploy them when I'm dead. I can't tell them where to go. That's a problem for me. Oh boy. I don't think I'm gonna make it fast enough. I'm trying. Nope, we got it. Victory. Oh. Top 100 leaderboard, although I don't know how many people play this game, so I have no idea if that's particularly good or not, but it's three star for the, admittedly, the first mission. Is it always gonna be one, two, three minutes, I wonder? That's a fast pace. If you're trying to beat levels that fast, I almost feel like you're better off beat, uh, just doing barracks. Because a turret is only good for defense. But you're just in a, you're just in like a massive offensive hurry if you're trying to beat everybody in, in that amount of time. Bugs. Now that's some Starship Troopers enemies right there. The only good bug is a dead bug. Why is that one green, I wonder? Just sending in a giant wave at this point. There's so many units coming in. Get them. Get them, get them, get them. This, so this was three players, a green team, a blue team, and a white team. It's probably intense when our four separate teams are directly competing with each other. In this game, in this match's case, the green team didn't have... A, first of all, they didn't have a hero, but they also didn't have a single barracks. So, while there was technically three factions, it didn't really affect the match. Okay, so now, 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 now three stars is two minutes. So, this must be getting more complicated or more difficult. Nope. Oh. Quickly. I better establish uh, an output. I need my units. Yeah. Oh no. Those are egg sacks. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the... Alright. My bad. I forgot to order everyone forward too, didn't I? But I totally forgot that there's straight up like enemy there's uh enemies that come out of everything when you when you blow them up. It only seems to happen when with with their stuff though. Unless I'm missing something. Let's just hatch hatch this in advance. Let's get that out of the way. Destroy. There we go. You guys get up there. It's fun. It's simple so far. Like a little, maybe a little too simple, but it's the intro mission, so I'm, I'm seeing how it goes. It's a satisfying enough gameplay loop, but the strategy's not quite there if it's just a, if it's a simple battlefront. That's where the four-player matches might get a little more interesting. It's just the idea that like there might be a more direct conflict between larger groups. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I'm glad that worked out. Oh, I was... Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Get him. Nope. Oh. Okay, so when my vehicle, when my uh, buildings blow up, they also spit out the the aliens from from Starship Troopers. That's not just my team. I mean, that's not just when I blow up theirs. It's probably because the the honey pot was what they're calling it. The uh, what seems to be like an exposed geyser of uh, lava. Oh, interesting. I can see where their units are currently mapped to go next. They show up. They show the white little coordinate spots on the screen to tell me where the enemy is about to go. Those are those are satisfying explosions. Victory. Inhale Satan. You're not supposed to inhale Satan. You're supposed to let him into your heart. <laughs> I forgot to check the timer on that one. It's fine. It's not like it's gonna affect how I play. I'm just gonna go. Oh boy. must maximize acquisition of resources. Oh, I just killed myself. That was a mistake. Are they smart enough to shoot their own... E oh. It begins. Okay. There we go. When you, when you, when you attack one of them, when you, when you deploy one of these guys, they have an AoE to them that destroys the local walls. And so they, like, explode outward. Okay, I need, I need these to be turrets, apparently. I just killed myself. I'm really nailing it right now. Alright. That's the trick. That's the trick, is that... These all, when they're, when they're deposited, they're gonna blow up the walls. Which means that they're going to spit out a turret that can then see through the door. Victory. I can three-star that one. Let's do it again. 45 seconds. Yeah, the whole reason why it was so fast is because I was supposed to be able to penetrate, yeah. The trick the trick here is that as each one comes down, it, it dro thro blows up such a local area that it'll in turn... Uh oh Yeah. So as you place a turret, all of the local hexes all blow up. Leading to a situation where... There we go. It actually does the, it does the burrowing for me. Like, it, it breaks its way through the environment so I can place the next turret. And as long as I don't stand directly on top of it, I will survive it landing. There it goes. So that level actually functioned function as a tutorial where we're learning the mechanic of how that particular level works, too. Why did I do that? That should have been, that should have been a base. Oh, so all of the ones flash when I step on them. Ah. So those ones should be turrets because they're directly exposed to the enemy... Enemy turret. I just totally blew myself up. Nailed it. Alright. There's so much happening right now. We're fine. Nope. Oh. Things are getting messy. Okay. This is getting dynamic and crazy. This is where it starts having... An extra, I have to actually start planning, because the turrets will melt you. Alright, send them over there. There's also a particular trap. They say that there's no punishment for dying, but they're kind of lying. There's a, there's a tactical loss that is not immediately entirely clear, which is which is primarily the fact that if you, uh, if you die, you can't... First, you can't attack anything, and you can't deploy any turrets, but also you lose the ability to uh, order your troops around. Whenever you lose your your life. <laughs> Ow. Oh, shit. I didn't see that guy. Gotta keep an eye out. I will say that for when you have only two teams, white and blue is not the strongest color contrast ever. Probably could do better, but let's just keep going forward.
You know, if somebody was like cartoonishly going with like a video game announcer voice for like a video game in a movie, as a, like almost as a joke, it would sound exactly like this guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nah. Get them all. Watch out. So I, th I think I can only give my troops one location to go to, which is actually a little rough. You kind of hope for the op opportunity to order different groups of troops to, into different locations, but as far as I can tell, you can't, like, split them. Which is actually kind of dangerous. You guys go get that guy. I'll blow up this wall eventually. There we go. Get him, get him, get him. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead and there's bugs everywhere. Yeah. Hellfront. I'm having, I'm having fun with this. Oh boy. Yep. That's what I'm trying to clear. Bug. My turret's meter is going down. I'm confused by that. Does he run out of ammo and die or something? Or does he, does that one, is that his reload timer? Because he shouldn't be taking damage. He's just shooting bugs. Oh. Oh, there I go. Right, I wasn't giving my troops orders. Because I'm just such a tactical genius. He seems to be running out of health and dying. That's confusing. Oops. It definitely seems like my my turret was depleting its health bar just by shooting normally. I'm curious about that. Nope, that was a bad call. Get in there. Uh Enemy soldiers! Yeah. No. It's interesting not having resources. So like, I can just keep, like, plucking down more turrets here and there. I can largely get away with that because there's no resource cost. It's just, can I get in and out and survive the process? Oh boy. Blow up all the things, please. <laughs> Get him. Get him. I'm definitely- I'm kind of waiting to see an enemy hero show up that's the equivalent of me. But, uh, it does seem like maybe the generics... Hmm. It seems like their generic soldiers can build- can actually build buildings, because I do, I do see their- their honeypots suddenly have a building at times. So I think their generic soldiers can actually reach those spots and make one. Which would mean that if- that would basically mean that if- oh god. Save me. <laughs> I'm alive. That would mean that, uh... Here we go. That if I destroy all of their barracks, that they just cease to work as an army. Because if they only have tourists, they can't spawn any more units. And that seems to be maybe how they build their own buildings. This is probably pretty fun as a couch co-op game, because it said the one to two player co-op on the campaign. And then it's supposed to be one to four player competitive, where you'd all share one screen and things go crazy. I have- okay, my, my troops have snowballed so excessively at this point. I have so much to work with here. Uh oh. Get him, get him, get him. Nah, the last turret. And of course the last the last building always explodes spectacularly. Which is a great design choice. I'm happy with that design. Japanson? Okay. Either the players are dropping off significantly or I'm doing a great or I'm doing a great job. Or both. Cause I just ranked in like the- I ranked in the top 20, which might just be because only like 20 people played that level. Now can I order them- when I order my troops, will they go through walls or do I have to manually like drill my way through? Cause this takes a while. 
Oh, they're all fighting each other in a little green and white war. This is a lot of flashing. This is some... This is definitely like a seizure warning kind of game. Oh, there it goes. Uh-oh. I gotta remember that whenever a build... <laughs> whenever... It's, it's, it's counterintuitive, but whenever a building dies, a bunch of enemies just spew out of it, out of a, out of a different faction. I guess if you call the other the other four colors, the, the four factions players can be the four factions, then I guess the bugs are a fifth faction. There's just that many. You stand no chance now. Victory. Because you dot. Oh, no leaderboard left. There it goes. Now loaded it in. My rank, forty-fourth place. I like to think that we're so cartoonishly uh, it's disposable in this narrative that I basically die every single oh god that I basically die every single time I succeed at any at any round just because of the fact that the uh, every time I'm I'm always there on ground zero when the actual base gets destroyed which of course means that I'm being I'm just standing within firing range as like the entire thing explodes in my face. So whatever character I'm playing as dies every single time because they're just so dead. This is like the war this is like Warhammer universe nonsense. Yo. Uh -oh. I've gone down. Don't get out guys don't get don't blow up don't blow up no you could have lived There we go Victory Three, two, one, fight. <clears throat> I don't have a lot to say anymore, but I just don't want to I don't really want to stop <laughs> I'm just kind of going Give me troops so I can order them. There we go. You can't give your troops orders till you have them. You can't really place a waypoint of where you want to go. And also you can't split your troops, as far as I can tell, into multiple fronts, which is also kind of a frustration. You don't get a lot to work with, kind of. Interestingly, the AI seems to have unique powers that you, that you don't have, because the AI can tell the, the troops to go anywhere on the entire screen, which is odd. Without it, you know, like anywhere without having, you know, a character. Because I can only order people to be within a certain range of where I am. That said, they'd probably be more of a challenge if I had to fight them when they had a hero. There we go. I think I'm just going to be running back and forth, basically. Yeah. Because they, they gave me all the space. I've got to maximize my army acquisition before they get through. Yeah. They're getting through. Send everyone in. Turret, turret, turret. Turret. Oh, did I die? No, I'm good. Just, I'm trying to keep getting more of them without actually pushing forward further in that direction. There we go. This game kind of functions on that cathartic level that Dynasty Warriors functions on. Where there's not, you're not thinking that much, but you are like processing the map's layout and where the enemy battlefront is and what 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 uh, objectives you want to take to make your team more powerful in order to succeed. 
At least when you're playing Dynasty Warriors on like a difficulty that's high enough where you, you uh, your army actually matters, as, as opposed to the easiest difficulties where all you do is just fight your way through single-handedly and nothing matters. Hey, the final one's next. Let's do, let's get that far. Three, two, one, one, go. Fight. Shit, he says fight. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Oh boy. Uh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming from every side. Crap. <laughs> And that's what it looks like when you lose. You don't start off with any teams. So I take that to mean that when you... Yeah, that's interesting. I think you lose when all of your buildings are destroyed and you die. Oh, like that. That's what happened probably last time as my turret went down and then that meant that I was gone because my turret was gone. I'm going to be in some trouble here. Damn. This one, this one poses a new problem. I kind of need to get an army. Just to deal with the fact that so many guys are coming in. I probably should be just trying to take out one of these armies. Oh, I should be doing that. Because that turret was within range of what you can acquire. So I should be going straight for that. Like, make sure that this, this base goes, gets taken out before they can actually spawn units. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this is where things get dynamic and messy. It's when I don't have a safe spawn point, so I'm getting swarmed. There we go. I've established a little corner where I can defend myself while these guys kind of fight each other. I can go take advantage. Ow. Oh boy. There's a lot going on here. Oh, that's a lot of bugs. They say the only good bug is a dead bug, but I feel like it's pretty good when the bugs are fighting the other guys. I feel like we can take advantage of that. Also, that might have accidentally summarized part of the plot of StarCraft in some way just now. There goes Green Player. Why did I run into the bugs? <clears throat> I'll never... I'll never correctly internalize the fact that the bugs just kind of come spewing out of destroyed buildings. That messes with me. Oh no. I'm about to lose. There's even a little bit of they are billions in there with the way that every time you lose a building, it spews out enemies. It's just their Starship Troopers bugs instead of zombies. Oh no, I am running out of buildings. This is how you lose against the AI. Oh no. No. I might not be able to do this mission within this episode. Oh. Why'd I just do that? Orbit frag. Orbit frag. I need to take out this base as fast as possible, but I think I want to keep green alive. No. Why did I die? Oh, there was one more guy. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, I need help with the bugs. Cool. I'm going to focus all of my efforts on fighting white team. And, and try to keep green alive long term and let them spread. Because white team's strong enough that they're going to outmaneuver us. So I want green team to take retake that base and keep it. No, green, don't attack me. I need you and white to fight. I need to hold each other off a little bit so I can survive. There we go. Oh, I always do that. I'm just so... I'm in such a hurry to establish these control points that I forget that, of course, there's going to be a big bad pile of bad attacking me. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, white just took a big hit. This is my chance. I'm gonna do the yeah, those are deployments. I'm establishing barracks in their army. 
Oh, look, white player's gone. There we go. <laughs> Get in there. Thank you, green player, but you have outlived your usefulness. Victory. That got a lot harder. Look at the rankings. A minute and a half, three minutes, four and a half minutes. All right, one last one. One last one. That is a lot of eggs. That's so many eggs. It's too many eggs. I'm just avoiding them at all costs. No. Need you to die? Oh. I can't take that many soldiers on at once. Uh, shit. I need a safe area. Oh, there's bugs. Okay. I need some turrets to establish a battlefront here. There we go. Yes. All right, take out the take out this corner, and I at least have a starting position I can work from. I just killed myself with that building again. I'm really good at that. I've established that as my playstyle apparently is stomping myself with my own vehicles, buildings, words. Ah. Admittedly, part of me kind of wants longer rounds. Although, I don't think that's going to be this kind of game. This kind of control scheme is simple enough that it actually might be fun to kind of play over the course of like a larger battlefield. That with more tactics and so on and like planning of where you want to go and everything. But since it sticks to being one screen, I imagine every match is always going to be just a few minutes. From the campaign to all of the multiplayer matches you'll play just because how... I don't know how... Uh, how much longer a one screen match could take so i'm kind of i mean i'm interested in seeing where they could go with it but it's it's probably going to stick to about this pace but anyway guys this is hellfront honeymoon you can check it out on steam i got a link in the description and it might be other places too do your own research uh thanks for watching like always guys thanks to the developers for sending the code in so i could take check it out here and uh i'll see you guys next time